just don't believe a hype no matter what it comes through. It's a turning point for me, and I just think that um, I believe that she has to stay consistent, but in the blizzard of whippings of mass distraction, you always have to find a way to adapt and reinvent yourself. So I reinvented myself when I was unsure. But I just think when it comes down to generational talk, I've never blamed the young for anything. Mm -hmm. And how young is young anyway? Right. When somebody 16 comes to me and t tells me that they're young, I'm like, well, my daughter is two. You ain't younger than that. <laughs> so I tell my wife all the time, I'm not no damn U.S. citizen. I'm an Earthison. Because if I've been to 95 countries on the regular, I look at the Earth, I don't see like, a-U-S-T-R, when I look down at Australia. I, I, there's a nerve for Americans to call themselves Americans. I call them USAers. Because you don't own all the goddamn America. And say, well, what's your religion, Chuck? Well, hip hop is my re religion because I look deep within. What's rap? Rap is my military because I'm out to see if I could provide service and protect those in the arts. And if anybody got a problem with it, they can go to hell. Or, or better yet, like Amherst. They could go to L. <laughs> L. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the masses out there who the court plantation considered them asses. They just moved an M over. <laughs> and they already, they know that they got their minds, body, soul, money that they about to get, money they ain't got. They got people praising to the, the money who it, which ain't worth the, the, the paper it's printed on. You know, or today what the IRS says, oh, Bit Bitcoin doesn't count. <laughs> Internal Revenue of the United States says this, okay. Well, <laughs> it, it becomes a joke, and it, but it is serious. So where fantasy and reality bleeds back and forth, you gotta make sure that it ain't coming out of your veins and brain. We have a vast accountability and responsibility just in our family blood, and then when we talk about the extension into our communities, it's the same thing. So all this, yo, y'all done made it. Y'all, you know, we all got a president. It was like, yo, our family lines don't go. I mean, I mean, we in the hotel, and I'm looking at paintings of dudes. It's like, what, this painting must be from 1791, man. It's like, damn. I was like, so, and he's hanging here in 2014 in this damn hotel. We ain't got that. <laughs> and so that's this is the reality that doesn't get across to white America. Like, yeah, there's been some steps, and even when you get smacked back three steps, and then you got the struggles, and new ge new generations come in, and people say, "Oh, why don't they just, you know, just just assimilate, you know?" And you guys got integration, and you know everything is all good. You start from there. My people came from, you know, you know Prussia and 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 1897, and then I'm Austria. You know, we were broke too, all together on the same boat. It's not the same story. It's not the same story. The generational rites of passage, and you have to talk to a person now seriously. What can you talk to? Can you talk to their soul and to you talk to their heart and make them feel good about themselves with what they already got? And that, that's an obligation. My wife's very good at, 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 at reinforcing that with me, listening to a person who might feel in this society feels that they have nothing, feels that they're nobody. And this society is driven on the fact to make you feel like if you don't have things or if you ain't sucking up to some core plantation, you know, that you are nothing. And you got to get this look on. You got to have this in your pocket. You got to got this whip to drive. And when this is a 15 to 17 to 20 year poison, how do you reverse that? It's going to take a lot of one-on-one -on -one thing. You know, stop looking at the quantity of the situation and really delve into the quality of the second, the minute, the person, the heart, the soul. And I think that's a start beyond whatever agenda or whatever politic you might have. Can you listen to someone who seemingly feels that they're below you?